The iPad appears to be selling well in Asia, despite the fact that Apple's official overseas launch isn't until the end of May, as specialty stores obtain them to resell at premium prices and travelers to the U.S. bring them home. The popular tablet-like device is on sale at two stores near the main electronics bazaar in Taipei. Taiwanese consumers are paying a premium for an early iPad. The two Taipei stores maintain identical prices, 800 US dollars for the 16 gigabyte model, and the other models are at a similar premium of around $300 more. Estimates of how many iPads have been carried or shipped outside the US range into the tens of thousands, and one analyst speculated the figure could be much higher. He noted that when the iPhone first launched, only about half the iPhones sold were actually activated on AT&T networks. Taipei shop owner Mr. Wang said he bought about 300 iPads from a company in the U.S. that specializes in procuring specialty goods and reselling them to stores overseas. He believes around a dozen stores in Taipei offer iPads and estimates that thousands of them are on sale citywide. Analysts warn that people who purchase iPads for use overseas before the official launch in their market must be aware of potential pitfalls. People outside the U.S. who have technical problems or need service may find it difficult to locate an authorized technician or may have to ship the unit back to Apple. With reporting by Dan Neistat in Taipei, I'm Justin Meisinger, IDG News Service.